Hi, this is Dr. Graves from the CSUN Geography Department and geographyplanet.org. This uh, video tutorial is designed to introduce students to a couple of concepts that will help you compare a single point of data. In this case, it's going to be an elementary school against a larger group of elementary schools. And what we're going to do is, is, is to check to see, well, just how different is one school versus another. And we're going to um, learn how, using Excel, to put each school in terms of percentile and then essentially what we're going to do is to try to answer the question, how different or how ordinary is my school or a particular school against the rest of the county in this case? So how, how unusual is our situation? And oftentimes that's what we are looking to do is to figure out whether uh, one particular instance in the data is actually different or unusual from the others, because that oftentimes is the argument that we're trying to make. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we have here is data regarding the number of students enrolled in each school and the number of students enrolled in each school that are eligible for uh, free or reduced lunch. And, and this uh, data was downloaded from the California Department of Education. Uh, in January 2019. Easy to find stuff. What we're going to do is to just take out schools in one county and because uh, we're probably students and faculty all in Los Angeles County, what we're going to do is extract just the data from Los Angeles and just the elementary schools. So that should leave us with, I don't know, about 1,300 schools. The data came with this filter already built in, so that's pretty nice. So click on the down arrow here indicating the filter options for county name and um, check off, select all. Scroll down a moment till you see Los Angeles and check that on. Okay, now it's just schools in Los Angeles. And let's scroll over here to the right till we see uh, the type of school. I believe that's what we're looking for. And, and repeat the process, this time uh, on selecting everything. And just select um, element public elementary schools or elementary schools public and click OK. And uh, that, well, let's uh, do one more thing here. Under enrollment for K-12, um, let's see here, there's a number filter. Let's do that. It says a greater than or equal to, let's, let's select 100, so that um, our data takes out very tiny schools, because I believe that may upset what we're trying to do. And now what I want you to do is to highlight the, the data that we're going to use. And in this case, I'm going to put my cursor in cell G2 and uh, hold down the shift key and press the right arrow button until I have highlighted cells G2 through T2, it appears, and then I'm going to press down, and I'm still holding the shift key down, and I'm, now I'm going to press control and the down arrow, which will highlight the entire block of data that I want. I'm going to press control C to copy that, and then control N to create a new file, so control N. And then what I want to do is just paste the value that I have copied into a new sheet. And now I have a nice clean data set. What I'm going to do is also delete these columns. So what I, I've done is, is I'm going to click on the B above cell B1, and I'm going to drag my cursor to the right across all of these columns until I have all of them highlighted, and then I'm going to click on the Delete Cells button up here on the toolbar, not a key on the keyboard. Click 
and it's gone. And now I just have four columns of data that we're going to use to analyze. I'm going to repeat this highlighting once again and double click between two of the columns above or above the column header. I'm going to double click and that will auto widen the columns. There we go. So here's all of the schools, their enrollment, the number of students that are getting free meals, and the percent that are eligible. Uh, I suppose that since we have this percentage el eligible, uh, that we can actually also get rid of column C. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just to keep um, our data set looking clean. OK, so what we want to ask is, where does each of these schools rank, or how do they compare with all of the other elementary schools in Los Angeles County? You may, in the course of whatever you're doing, want to prove that your elementary, which is representative of the neighborhood that it's in, is particularly challenged or perhaps not challenged in a good way of of demonstrating uh, poverty in a neighborhood is through the percentage of students that are eligible for free lunch. So I'm going to press control and down arrow which is going to drop me to the last of the schools. There are Juan Cabrillo and what I want to get is a couple of figures here, average and the standard deviation for the columns of data. And maybe I'll just highlight them really quickly in two different colors just to give us some easy guidance. I'll show you a little trick here. I'm going to place my cursor in cell B2, and I'm going to press Alt. W S and that's going to split let's call it a split you see it's on the view window split so when I scroll to the bottom now with the control arrow button I can still see what's at the top so what is the average enrollment in elementary schools so I'm going to type in average this is the statistical mean and with an open parentheses arrow key up twice to get to the bottom of the list and I'm going to type in a colon and type in B2. So that is the entire block of data from the top cell B2 all the way down to cell B1284 close parentheses enter. So average is 537.12 students per school. I press Control C to copy that formula, one cell to the right, and now I will have the percentage, press Enter, of students that are eligible for free and reduced lunch, and that's 64 percent. Now let's get the standard deviation, which as you remember hopefully from a previous a lesson or lecture. This is sort of the average around the average. So it will tell us about 68% of the schools will have between this, well, let's go ahead and uh, calculate it, stand S-T-D-E-V dot P, because we're taking the entire population if it was S, then it was a sample of the population, but we've taken all of the elementary schools, I suppose, for our purposes. So it's uh, once again B1284 to column or to cell B2. Press enter. And so 68% of the schools are within basically 200 students give or take, of three or 537. So that's one standard deviation. And we can copy it over there. And we can say the same thing. The average uh, school has 64% of its students eligible for free lunch, give or take 26%. If I 
did quickly this, so the 64 plus 26, that's 90, and if I did 64 minus 26, that's 37. So 68% of the schools are within 90% students eligible and 37% eligible. I'm going to erase that. Now we're going to quickly, I'm going back to the top here up to cell D1, and I'm going to calculate in the percentile for enrollment. It's a relatively easy formula to write to type in. Of course, if you go to Home or to the Formulas tab and look under uh, More Functions Statistical, you could scroll down and find um, Percentile Rank, and that's what we're going to use. Percentile Rank Inclusive, and you can either click on that and it gives you a nice little um, box. So we're going to do the first is the array, and that means the block of the data. So um, I put my cursor in cell B2, press down Control and Shift at the same time, and the down arrow. And then that uh, highlights the entire uh, row of data. And then uh, X is going to be B2, or you could just click on um, cell B2 there. And, and arrive at the same thing. We need to, before I forget, um, highlight the array and press the F4 key, which puts the dollar signs in there. And um, significance, let's put in the number four, which is just how many um, significant digits we want, how many decimal points to show us uh, in the percentile. So then all you need to do once you've had that is click OK. And then uh, we find that Aspire Antonio Maria Lugo Academy is in the 25th percentile for enrollment. So it's um, a school that is below the average. I'm going to press Control C to, to place this formula in the cell in the clipboard and then do the trick where you double click in the lower right hand corner and that repeats that formula all the way down to the bottom. Uh, we should, if we copy this formula just below to the average, it will should also check our average against the array of values, and we should be somewhere in uh, the 50% range. Uh, the average should be uh, near 50 percentile. In order to check this, what I want to do is click on B2, and then go to Home, and Sort and Filter, Sort A to Z, and that sorted our data from the smallest school, 103 students in our sample, and to the largest, uh, Ellen Ochoa Learning Center at 1,300 students, and we find uh, that they are at the 100th percentile. So that hopefully makes sense to you. Okay, so that ends the first part of this. There's going to be a shorter uh, five minute or so uh, follow up video to this where we repeat the percentile calculation for enrollment and then uh, calculate each of the values from columns B and C and put them in terms of standard deviation. So we're going to standardize those, um, but I have to put that in a second video. So hang on.